OK, so let's say we wanted to integrate x times x plus 1 to the 5 dx by uh, parts. Now, you could do this by substitution. There's no reason why not use u equals x plus 1. Um, and you should be able to get there. We're going to use by parts instead. Now, for the late rule, you might be wondering, well, which is going to be the u then? Uh, is it the x or is it the x plus 1 to the 5? OK, so that's a good question um, and not immediately obvious as to what the answer is there. Um, however, because you want to make the integral that you get here as simple as possible, really you want to have the du by dx becoming simple. OK, um, so the one that you are differentiating, you want to get uh, as simple as possible faster. Okay, So we don't have to keep on integrating. So it would make more sense to have the u as the x and the dv by dx as the x plus 1 to the 5 rather than the other way around because this will differentiate to 0 quicker than this one. So this differentiates to 1. And this will integrate to 1 sixth x plus 1 to the 6 by reversing the chain rule. So we've got u times v, so 1 sixth x, x plus 1 to the 6. Take away the integral of v du by dx, so 1 sixth x plus 1 to the 6 dx. Because now this could be integrated just by reversing the chain rule. So 1 sixth x, x plus 1 to the 6. Take away, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, plus we've got the derivative of what's inside, uh, divide by that as well. Um, so we've got 1 over 6 7, so 42, x plus 1 to the 7, plus your constant c of integration. OK, and so that is the integral of x times x plus 1 to the 5 uh, by using integration by parts.